Hi, so now uh, we have learned how to use private and public uh, access modifiers and but now we are going to learn a concept uh, in which we are going to fix this problem that selling price should not be less than MRP. So what we are going to do, we are going to restrict the access of these data members. So firstly, we are going to make them as private and we are going to provide some public methods that will modify the MRP and the selling price. Okay. So maybe there is a method void set MRP. Okay. And there is a method void set selling price. So now let's say we get some price and we say, okay, this MRP should be equal to price. And here we get some selling price and we say, okay, uh, or maybe again, we, we pass in some integer price and we say, okay, Selling price should be equal to price. Now what is going to happen? We are going to remove this code and instead of calling this method, uh, we will call instead of directly accessing the property, we will call the method set MRP and set selling price. So I can say camera dot set MRP, let's say hundred and camera dot set selling price, let's say 200. It is not going to fix the issue and it is again going to cause one problem that you can see this is again a private member and we cannot now read the values of selling price and MRP. So what we need, so right now the functions that we have created, they are known as setters. They are setting some property of the camera, but we are going to also create getters. They are going to return some property of the product. Okay. So int get MRP that is going to return the MRP and int get selling price that is going to return the selling price. Okay. So now, okay. Uh, yeah. So again, here we will say, camera dot get MRP. So we are going now going to call the method instead of accessing the property and get selling price. And you can see, uh, our problem will now be solved. Okay. This should be camera dot get selling price. All right. So if I run this code now, so we, we can see again, we have MRP hundred, but we have selling price as 200, which should not happen. So what it means is now we are able to replicate the same functionality that we have written earlier using the concepts of getters and setters, but these are more powerful. Why? Because here we have a method in which we can put a conditional check. So, uh, we can say, uh, when we are setting a selling price, we can put additional checks here that if price is greater than what MRP, then we can say we will set the selling price equal to MRP. Okay. Otherwise we can set the selling price equal to price. So that means if you put a price that is lower than or equal to MRP, then you will, then this price will get updated. Otherwise it will not get updated. So that's what we are doing here. Okay. So let, let me, let me show it to you. If I set selling price equal to 200 and if I run this code again, so you can see both MRP and selling price are now hundred. Okay. And if I say, no, the selling price should be 90 and MRP should be hundred, then this will get updated. So selling price is 90 MRP is hundred. Okay. And if I say it, it should be 190, then it would be made as hundred. Okay. So you can see, so you can see the concept of getters and setters are quite powerful when we are going to work with, uh, classes and objects. So that's all for this lecture. And I hope you understood. Now we have used both data members and we have provided methods to the public in order to work with these data members 
and we can put additional checks and constraints when the values of these data members are set okay so that's all for this lecture and maybe you can also put a check that the price should be greater than zero okay so if price is negative then this price will not update okay so only then you should uh, update the price maybe if someone says okay uh, let me set the mrp as minus 100 then this is not going to work all right so that's all for this lecture thank you